yeah that's quite a sad title for the video especially for me since i've had the a4 for a very short time and i love that car to bits but i have my reasons for selling it so why don't we go for a drive and talk all about my a4 ekatna <laughs> But Bhavneet, it's only been five months. How are you bored with the car already? Oh, I'm pretty sure he cannot maintain it. That's why he's going to just sell it off. Oh, I'm pretty sure the car is slow and whack and boring. That's why he's selling it off. Well, none of those are the reasons I am selling it off. I, being a content creator, want to create much more content for you guys. So I was thinking of buying something fresher and more relevant in order to create some content that you guys would enjoy to watch. Second reason is. I like to be competitive at the valley run. Drag racing is something I genuinely personally enjoy doing and I would like my car to be competitive in that segment. Now this car competes against 530Ds, X330Ds and all of them are cars that have better engines, better gearboxes, newer. In fact, all of the technology in those vehicles are newer than this car. uh this gen 1 3 liter tdi has a couple of issues uh that limit the amount of power it can do and it's just because of its time period it's not because it is a rudimentary block it is a very nice robust block that pushes power very nicely in fact it is a very petrol like engine that has made me fall in love with the way it behaves it's very direct and if you can omit the audi like a uh, lack of feedback from the steering wheel and a little bit of a lazy pedal the car is very enjoyable to drive in the corners in fact this tiptronic uh, gearbox is has a torque split that is 60 40 rear bias that makes it uh, very enjoyable to drive in the corners in fact it drives like it's on rails my idea for the car was to add uh underbody strut braces a k brace in the rear and basically make the car handle like a proper proper canyon carver but i still wouldn't be capable of competing against those x330ds nor those 530ds even if i spend that big chunk of stage 3 money that i should have or i would have planned on doing on this car So yeah it is a bit of a heartbreaker that a car that i love i have to get rid of just so that i can create more fresh content for you guys and uh, yeah i want to talk about a couple more things i would like to talk about all of the things i've done to the car personally in order to bring it back to its former glory and how much i've spent on it so let's just do a little recap of my journey with the car and uh, yes then talk about what i'm selling it for till then i'll enjoy the i'll enjoy the drive <sighs> so what is the damage let's start from what all i've done to the car in order to fix it uh i've gotten a complete suspension rehaul that was around 3 lakh rupees I have refurbished the brakes so new discs and new pads that was around 45000 rupees then uh, the rims 1 and a half lakh rupees that also after discount the tune cost me around 45000 rupees and uh, the speakers cost me 50000 rupees now what is left to, to do is getting the paint back up to its perfect finish and it's a little bit of the interior like the center console in the back and a little bit of uh, the trim which is going to be able to refurbish it and bring it back to its tight finish so that's going to cost me around another 50000 bucks considering all of that that's around 7 lakh rupees rough give or take and uh, yeah including the car it's cost me quite a bit So I've spent a rough estimate of around seven lakh rupees, and the car's listing is for fifteen. Yeah, best believe I am making a fat loss, but I still think it's justified since the owner will be basically arriving, picking up the car, and driving off the car like it's new, and I will also be able to create whatever content I want. Now, don't think I'm trying to oversell the car. To me personally, 
our baby TDH classified's reputation is worth much more than the loss I am making and I am assuring myself personally that this car is in immaculate condition and that's why I am listing it at 15 lakh rupees. Yes, if you compare it to a 2 liter TDI B8 generation A4, it is on the steeper side, but it is rare and it is in immaculate condition. Plus, it is decent fast. This is stage one VRS fast. The next owner can go for stage two. I was planning on going stage two, but it is advisable to go for a brake upgrade. And that is a steep amount that currently I cannot go for. So instead of going for stage two, I'd prefer to build a new car. And that's my reason for selling my baby. Talking about how special the car is, let's go for another drive and just talk about what the car is by itself. So if you're new to the channel, this is my Audi A4. It's a 3-litre TDI V6 with a 6-speed Tiptronic gearbox. And it is one of three in India because it is one of the three vehicles that came to India in 2010 for the Delhi Auto Expo. And what is special about it is that it comes with an S-Line kit, uh, an S-Line body kit all across with the spoiler, the diffuser, the sports bumper in the front. Uh, and the side skirts and in and on the inside it comes with an Audi exclusive interior that is red that's quite red in fact I actually love the interior I hated it because it was very gaudy in the beginning but it I, it's grown into me and I love it I love it now it's quite special in fact now the next things that I am going to be doing to the car before I sell them I'm going to make sure that I uh, correct all of the paint and uh, make sure that the interior is completely refurbished. I have uh, a center console on order because that center console is making a little bit of a weird noise and I wanted to uh, just basically get rid of it. So I'm assuring that the next owner of this vehicle can basically just pick it up and drive it forever. The one next big thing that the next owner should be doing is timing is a timing chain replacement which is a part of the periodic service of this car since it is touching 120,000 kilometers. But after that, this uh, engine will be pretty maintenance free for a very long time. Since the 3 litre TDI V6 is known for covering intense amount of miles with very little problems. Yes, they require uh, timely maintenance and it's a little complex. However, if you are capable of maintaining the car, it is a robust block. It will just not give up on you. One thing that you guys don't know about this car and that hasn't been filmed is that I have put a stage one remap on it. So uh, the Gen 1 3 liter TDI V6 comes stock with around 211 or 241 bhp depending on the type of car that you've got and uh, my stage 1 remap now pushes that up to 300 or 310 bhp and uh, 600 newton meters of torque so now we've got quite a bit of power and it's all delivered to all the four wheels still it is not up there with the bmws that are uh, 2014s, 2015 uh, X330Ds or 530Ds just because the gearbox is a little slow the amount of power that the engine can push out isn't as much as those on a stage 3 format or a stage 2 format so I was thinking of either picking up a BMW with a inline 6 diesel or something more relevant an i20 inline or maybe a Jimny and build it up so that's going to be a decision to be done later after the car is sold. So if you're interested in the vehicle, do let me know or check out TDH Classified where the car is listed and you guys can get in touch with me. So uh, yeah, I am looking forward to the new owner to be someone who loves the car as much as I do. And yeah, I'm pretty sad on letting her go. So on that bombshell, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know what are your thoughts on 
uh, my Audi A4 and would you pick it since it is up for sale now and it is so rare. So let me know what do you guys think about the A4 and what should I pick next? Do let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Peace.